The idea that you can't tell whether you're moving or not demolishes the notion of absolute space. The big box within which things happen, that's a natural picture of space and the universe, the thing in which all the planets and galaxies are placed. In the brief history of time, Hawking says, well, imagine bouncing a ball. So we bounce a ball on the table now, a tennis ball. So I drop it and I catch it again. Um, so let's say I drop it and it takes a second to bounce up. So in that second, the Earth has moved about 18 miles or so in space around the sun. So you could ask the question, did that ball return to the same place in space or not? And the answer is, you can't answer it. You, it does from our perspective, but from the perspective of someone watching the Earth go all the way around the sun, it went up and caught it again, it had moved 18 miles. And then from some other perspective, it would have done something else. So the point is, you can't say this is a point in space. It came back to the same place because that just depends on your perspective. It depends on whether you're watching the sun, the Earth go around the sun or whatever it is. So, so Einstein said that means there's no such thing as absolute space. <laughs>